let us discuss about uh, the different uh, metabolic reactions how they take place in uh, fishes right uh, <coughs> digestive system see common definition for digestive system is a common definition is elementary canal and digestive glands together called digestive system okay now elementary canal and digestive glands together called digestive system so here the elementary canal in fishes elementary canal starts with right elementary canal starts with mouth and ends with cloaca here anus is absent cloaca cloaca is a common aperture right common pore aperture means pore so the elementary canal starts with mouth and ends with the cloaca so this is also a common character applicable for all vertebrates except mammals except mammals in all vertebrates say from fishes to apes means in fishes amphibians reptiles and apes elementary canal starts with mouth and ends with the cloaca only in mammals the elementary canal ends with the anus so here this uh, elementary canal this uh, cloaca is a common aperture at the posterior end of the body here one a pore like structure is present means uh, elementary canal opens out through cloaca and uh, ureters in excretory system kidneys and ureters are there na no? so ureters urinary bladder is absent ureter also ureters also urinary ducts or ureters also open out through cloaca means urine is passed out through cloaca fecal matter is discharged out through cloaca and gonoducts gonoducts also open into cloaca gonoducts means ducts of gonads in female uh, reproductive system gonoducts are oviducts in in male reproductive system gonoducts are vasa differentia so here vasa differentia open out through cloaca and uh, oviducts also open out through cloaca means through cloaca fecal matter is discharged urine is released out and gametes are also released out through cloaca so here the excretory the um, digestive system elementary canal elementary canal starts with mouth and ends with anus and the elementary canal is associated with uh, connected with right so the elementary canal is associated with uh, liver and pancreas this is also a common character in all in all vertebrates fishes to mammalia in all vertebrates uh, the elementary canal is associated with the liver and pancreas okay na so this is uh, digestive system so the type of digestion is extracellular digestion see digestive system is there elementary canal is there means uh, the uh, digestion the type of digestion is extracellular digestion see digestion is of two types intracellular digestion and extracellular digestion the process of digestion which occurs within the cell inside the cell is called intracellular digestion and the type of di the, the process of digestion takes place outside the cell or the the process of digestion which takes place between the cells or the type of the type of digestion takes place in different parts of the elementary canal is extracellular digestion extracellular digestion is also known as intercellular digestion so here intercellular digestion what next respiration see what is respiration exchange of gases is known as respiration see respiration can be defined as inspiration and expiration together called respiration inhalation and exhalation together called respiration or exchange of gases is called respiration exchange of gases means taking oxygen and releasing carbon dioxide say absorption of oxygen and evolution of carbon dioxide is called respiration so respiration takes place through gills in majority of fishes respiration takes place through gills so respiration performed by gills is called branchial respiration right respiration performed by gills respiration takes place through gills is called branchial respiration so in majority of fishes 
branchial respiration takes place in very few fishes uh, a single lung is present they are called lung fishes or dipnoe fishes right if respiration takes place through gills uh, lungs is pulmonary respiration so in majority of uh, uh, fishes uh, what gills branchial respiration okay na no? blood circulatory system blood circulatory system basically blood circulatory system is of two types blood circulatory system is of two types what open circulatory system and closed circulatory system open circulatory system means uh, uh, blood flows in body cavity the the type of circulatory system in which blood vessels are absent in which blood vessels are absent blood flows in blood flows in blood sinuses or blood flows in body cavity okay now so in all vertebrates say in all vertebrates the type of digestion the type of circulatory system is open closed circulatory system see in closed circulatory system in closed circulatory system what is present blood is present let us see in closed circulatory system closed type of circulatory system in closed circulatory system blood heart blood vessels blood vessels okay na no? right so blood is red in color due to presence of rbcs uh, say due to presence of hemoglobin okay na no? and uh, uh, okay in in blood uh, we should mention here uh, the type of uh, blood uh, rbcs see rbcs are oval shaped right in fishes rbcs are oval shaped oval shaped and on two sides it is bulged right it is like this so on two sides it is with bulged therefore oval shaped and on two sides it is bulged and in the center of the cell nucleus is present rbcs are with nucleus so rbcs are oval comma by convex convexity bulged part is what convexity on two sides it has uh, convexity therefore by by means to by convex and nucleated nucleus is there nucleated means uh, in fishes uh, in fishes rbcs are rbcs are oval by convex and nucleated so this is also a common character from fishes to birds right from fishes to apes except mammals except mammals in all vertebrates in all vertebrates rbcs red blood cells rbcs are oval biconvex and nucleated nucleus is present in mammals it is different in mammals rbcs are round shaped biconcave and without nucleus now oh, okay so come to uh, fishes in fishes rbcs are oval biconvex and nucleated okay na no? and heart heart is two chambered heart in fishes heart is two chambered two chambered heart means heart is with one auricle one ventricle one atrium one ventricle it is two chambered heart so heart is two chambered with one auricle one ventricle and heart is s shaped in fishes heart is s shaped in other vertebrates 
except fishes in all vertebrates heart is conical shaped right pear shaped or conical shaped but in fishes heart is s shaped and the heart of fishes is called branchial heart because the heart pumps deoxygenated blood to gills the heart which pumps deoxygenated blood to gills is called branchial heart for purification the deoxygenated blood is pumped to gills in gills blood is purified that means blood is blood blood is mixed with oxygen so pure blood means what oxygenated blood so it is called what branchial heart the heart heart of fishes is called branchial heart because it pumps deoxygenated blood to gills and uh, heart is always filled with uh, in fishes uh, the heart is always filled with uh, deoxygenated blood therefore the heart is called uh, venous heart venous heart generally vein, veins veins means which carry deoxygenated blood the blood vessels which carry deoxygenated blood are called uh, veins the blood vessels which carry oxygenated blood are called arteries but here the heart heart is through the heart only deoxygenated blood passes heart is always with uh, deoxygenated blood therefore the heart of fishes is called uh, what venous heart it is called branchial heart and venous heart and uh, oxygenated blood oxygenated blood will never come Art, oxygenated blood will never come to again heart so here uh, the the uh, type of circulation is called single circulation you see why it is called single circulation right so in in fishes single circulation right in fishes single circulation why because suppose this is uh, heart this is body parts from body parts deoxygenated blood comes to heart from heart to the deoxygenated blood goes to gills for for oxygenation right for purification right from all body parts deoxygenated blood comes to heart from heart deoxygenated blood goes to gills in gills blood is purified blood blood becomes oxygenated then directly from gills directly from gills the oxygenated blood is supplied to body parts therefore it is called single circulation right the type of circulation in fishes is single circulation remember the heart is branchial heart and heart is also called venous heart and circulation is single circulation rbcs are oval biconvex and nucleated okay na next excretion 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 means process of sending nitrogenous waste products out of the body elimination of nitrogenous waste products out of the body see in any organism in all vertebrates in higher organisms body is made of say number of cells in all body cells in all living cells different kinds of metabolic reactions take place as a result of metabolic reactions okay all uh, as a result of uh, metabolic reactions nitrogenous compounds are released in all cells in all tissues of the body nitrogenous waste nitrogenous compounds are released that nitrogenous substances are unwanted for us so so the unwanted material or the waste material should be sent out so process of sending the nitrogenous waste products out of the body is called excretion so in fishes excretion takes place through kidneys right one pair of kidneys in excretory system the excretory system includes kid one pair of kidneys and one pair of ureters means urinary bladder is absent see here absence of urinary bladder is also an advantage for aquatic life suppose if urinary bladder is there uh, urine will be stored in urinary bladder then 
body becomes heavy then it will uh, dip in the water so absence of urinary bladder is also an advantage for aquatic life so the excretory system includes one pair of kidneys and one pair of ureters ureters directly open out through cloaca and kidneys are mesonephric type in fishes the type of kidneys is mesonephric kidneys and the excretory product right excretory product is ammonia means ammonia is the chief excretory product major excretory product therefore fishes are called ammonotelic fishes are ammonotelic animals it doesn't mean that they release only ammonia right ammonia is the chief excretory product right the animals in which ammonia is the major excretory product are called are called what ammonotelic animals all aquatic animals not only fishes all aquatic animals aquatic organisms which live in water they are ammonotelic so in case of fishes cartilaginous fishes are ureotelic right cartilaginous fishes are ureotelic they excrete urea they release urea means their urine contains um, urea so here majority of fishes are ammonotelic central uh, in shortcut central nervous system peripheral nervous system autonomous nervous system central nervous system includes brain and spinal cord brain and spinal cord together considered as central nervous system and uh, peripheral nervous system cranial nerves and uh, spinal nerves together called peripheral nervous system autonomous autonomous nervous system is uh, independent so here we should mention the number of uh, cranial nerves here one thing uh, brain see brain is present in cranium of skull so brain is covered by a protective membrane that membrane is called meninges meninges layer so in fishes uh, brain is covered externally brain is externally covered by a single meninges layer it is called manning's primitiva manning's primitiva okay in fishes only one layer is there in amphibians brain is covered by two layers outer dura mater inner pia mater in amphibians and reptiles around the brain two layers are present uh, in birds and mammals three layers are present outer dura mater inner pia mater middle arachnoid so uh, here thing to be remembered is the brain is covered by only one meninges layer that is manning's primitiva and cranial nerves cranial nerves are 10 pairs in fishes cranial nerves are 10 pairs okay na and uh, what next uh, sense organs see sense organs sense organs are what eyes uh, eyes are present and uh, ears are present external nostrils are present in fishes uh, specialized sense organs are present on two lateral sides of the body suppose this is a fish from anterior to posterior end on two la- on two lateral sides so this side and uh, this side also on two lateral sides uh, specialized sense organs are present called lateral line sense organs lateral line sense organs lateral line sense organs so these lateral line sense organs they are useful for detecting the pressure of water Me- means they are pressure detecting 
pressure detecting sense organs these are also called rio receptors rio receptors specialized sense organs are present called lateral line sense organs called they are also called rio receptors they are used for detecting the pressure water pressure okay na next reproduction right so they are unisexual organisms sexes are separate unisexual means what sexes are separate that means in one organism only one reproductive system is present these, these are also called dioecious right unisexual organisms are also called what dioecious di means two means what two two sexes are there male female so unisexual organisms and uh, fertilization is right fertilization is either external or internal that means in some external fertilization and in some internal fertilization particularly in cartilaginous fishes in cartilaginous fishes fertilization is internal because in cartilaginous fishes uh, the near the pelvic fin means from cloaca the wall of cloaca see the wall of cloaca is eversible means the wall of cloaca extends to form capillary organ capillary organs they are called claspers right see in cartilaginous fishes claspers are present in bony fishes claspers absent therefore in bony fishes fertilization is external and uh, in cartilaginous fishes uh, fertilization is internal and uh, uh, these are uh, this is in bony fishes and bony fishes are oviparous bony fishes are oviparous and cartilaginous fishes are viviparous these are viviparous means the animals which lay eggs are called oviparous animals the animals which directly give birth to young ones are called viviparous so cartilaginous fishes are viviparous and bony fishes are remaining all fishes are oviparous means they lay eggs and the type of eggs is mesolecithal eggs see eggs are classified into three types microlecithal macrolecithal mesolecithal based on the amount of yolk right so based on the amount of yolk substance the eggs are divided into three categories right mesolecithal the eggs of fishes are mesolecithal eggs these are mesolecithal eggs means moderate yolk neither less nor more amount of yolk moderate amount of yolk is present in the eggs so these are called mesolecithal eggs okay na right so fertilization may be internal or external and uh, some are viviparous and majority are oviparous okay these are the general characters of fishes